Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Alhamdulillah rabbil alamin. Wa salatu wa salamu wa tamu wa taslim. Ala Sayyidina wa Nabiina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in. Wa qala Allah ta'ala fi al-Qur'an al-Kareem. Hal jaza'u al-Ihsani illa al-Ihsan. Fa bi'ayyi ala yi rabbikuma tukadbiban. Wa qala Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. خير الناس من ينفع الناس. الله سبحانه وتعالى says in the Quran that what is better in goodness, in perfecting goodness, than goodness. And the Rasul صلى الله عليه وسلم said that a person who benefit the best of people is the one that benefits people. So giving a summary of today's speech taking from the lessons and the life of Khawaja Ghanim Nawaz, Mu'ayinuddin Jishti, Rahmatullah Alayh, Qaddasallahu Sirrahu. May Allah sanctify his secret and ignoble, and ignoble his status. That one of his teachings was goodness towards others. And this was a theme amongst all of the awliya. And this is one of the, the statues of making a person into the awliya not just locking themselves in the masjid or secluding themselves, going to, into a, a khalwa or a jilla, uh, you know, going on uh, itikaf, but also benefiting people. This is something that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has made this temporal abode for, that we benefit others. This is something that we will be asked about. Khawaja Gharib Nawaz mentioned in a gathering three things. In terms of how does one become beloved to Allah? So there are three qualities. So the first one is generosity. And he explained generosity in being like a river. Then he said the second one is a humility. So humility in being like the land. And then he mentioned the third one, which was softness or mercy and being like the sun. Now he mentioned these three qualities, but also why did he mention the um, giving of examples with nature that we, we depend upon? So generous being like the river. The river flows and it does not, um, how do you say it? It doesn't, I've forgotten the word, but it doesn't favor another person over another person. Everyone benefits from it. You know, people take benefit from it by plowing the, the field, making little canals so that we can then grow food. Also from the river, we have fish which we can eat from. Uh, also we have in the river that we have the water cycle. So that water will evaporate, it will form clouds and it will rain and it will benefit us as well in that regard. So he said be generous to others like the river. The second quality that he mentioned was softness and being like the sun now with the sun this is something that we all depend upon we need the sun to be able to see outside we need the sun to also have food so those of you that are doing uh, biology gcc biology you should know photosynthesis so this is something that plants make food for us and then also with the sun in that it's gentle, that you, you see in the morning as it rises, it generally is a beautiful sight to see. Something that you know, reminds us of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, something that everyone is taken into awe by. And that is the softness of the sun. Then Khwaja Gharib Nawaz, he mentioned the third quality, which is humility. And he said, be like the land. So as we walk over the land every day, you know, we're driving our cars and everything. Does it ever complain? Has the land ever said that you're sitting on top of me? You no, know, if you've ever been in grappling or wrestling or anything, someone's on top of you, you want to get out of it, don't you? But the land is, is humble, has tawadu, is firm, and it doesn't complain about what we do on top of it. So it says be like the land when helping someone, and that's humility. Another gathering, he was asked as well, you know, how, how does one become a darwish or how does one become uh, close to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? 
And so with that, you know, he mentioned that, you know, a true person of Allah, true only of Allah is someone who helps someone when they come to them in a time of need. Now there are, we hear a lot of things that, you know, maybe school or in the media, you know, such and such a footballer has talked about his mental health problems and this and that. We need to help other people with mental health. This is all the media saying it, but the thing is that if we look at all of the people that came before us from, you know, the people that we should take an example from, they have shown us that how do we help people? You know, someone requires a payment in debt, you know, if we are able to help them with that, then we should do so. Or if we can point them in the direction of doing so. If somebody requires food, <coughs> requires assistance, we should be the people that can help them. And I say that to myself first and foremost, that I should do more to help others. And as I mentioned in the hadith of the Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, خَيْرُ nas مَنْ يَنْفَعُ nas. It was in this gathering when he mentioned that hadith that Abdullah ibn Umar asked who are these people who benefit people? Who are, who are these people that are the best of people that benefit people? And he said of people, the most beloved by Allah are those with the most benefit to people and the most beloved action to Allah is to make a Muslim happy. Relieve him from a plight, pay a debt on his behalf or to protect him from hunger. And it's dearer to me to accompany a brother to fulfill his need than to seclude myself in this mosque, i.e. the Masjid of Medina. And whoever withholds his anger, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will cover his faults. And whoever holds back his rage, which he is able to let go, Allah will fill his heart with serenity on the day of resurrection. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us from the people that are khayrun nas, mayyam fa'un nas, that we are the people to benefit others. Wa sallallahu ala sayyidina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in. Jazakallah khair. Rath bahut shi hadrat ne toh ke liye